Procara is a circular piece of amniograft clipped into a dual PMMA ring set that adheres to the surface of the cornea like a contact lens. Procara is the industry's first sutureless graft for ocular surface reconstruction. Procara is clinically proven amniograft, amniotic membrane clipped, clipped into a PMMA ring and used as a temporary graft for corneal surface injuries. It has been approved by the FDA as a class two medical device. Procara can be used with corneal diseases with erosion, corneal diseases with superficial and deep ulceration, in conjunction with corneal transplantation, neurotrophic corneal diseases, severe corneal inflammation, after fornix or socket reconstruction, and with acute corneal burns or Steven Johnson syndrome. Procara is assembled with the stroma side of the amniotic membrane or the sticky side down against the corneal surface. This provides the natural biologic of actions of promotion of healing, prevention of scarring, minimization of pain, and the diminishing of the formation of new. One drop of Procara can is instilled to the eye. A lit speculum was inserted. Sterile or forceps was used to grab the PMM and ring from inside the bag. With two fingers holding the PMM and ring on the arm, and carefully one edge will be inserted to the uh, inside the lids behind the speculum and push the other side of the ring to the upper speculum. The insertion is complete by removing the speculum. The eye was then examined under the slit line. Here shows how Procara uh, looks under the slit line examination at the lower as well as higher magnification. Pay attention to the centration of the ring as well as the PMMA skirt behind the ta upper and the lower tarsus. Please note that fruising can continue to be used to, to, to detect the intact obsidian as shown in this normal eye without removing the Procara. Procara allows the intraocular pressure to be measured by tonal pen without uh, having it uh, removed and the accuracy is, has been validated. Procara can be easily removed in the office with the finger maneuver shown here.